Hey, it's Anne Marie with Speak Confident English, and welcome to this week's Confident English lesson, where I want to share with you exactly how to go into a coffee shop in an English speaking country and order a coffee. I know that that seems really simple, but the truth is, if you've traveled to an English speaking country, or if you've moved to somewhere like the United States or Canada, Australia, then you know that even those very simple things, like ordering a coffee, can be really challenging and stressful or difficult. It seems so simple, but it can be really scary. You don't know what's going on. There's a lot of movement, a lot of talk. You don't know what people are saying. What are they asking you? And of course, you want to sound perfectly natural when you order in English or when you respond to a question. So today I want to help you do that. In this lesson, I want to share with you everything that you can expect when you walk into a coffee shop from what you'll hear when you first enter the door to what you want to say when you leave. But before I go into all of that detail, there's one thing I want to make very clear. When you go to a coffee shop and you order just a simple coffee, you will not get this. I've lived in several countries in Europe and traveled all over the world and I know most of the time when you order a coffee, you get something that's really tiny like this. But if you're in an English speaking country, you go to a Starbucks or a local coffee shop and you order a simple coffee, you're going to get this. There's a huge difference in what people expect and what happens in a coffee shop in an English speaking country. So let's start at the beginning. There are two things that might happen when you walk into a coffee shop. Number one, it's 7.15 in the morning and everyone else had the same idea. Everyone's at the coffee shop and there's a really long line, which means you'll simply get in line and wait for your turn to order coffee. But maybe it's 2.30 in the afternoon, you got super lucky and no one else is there so you can walk right up to the counter to order what you want. What you'll probably notice is somewhere on the wall, they will have a huge list of all the different coffee and tea drinks they have available. Iced lattes, cold brews, specialty drinks, matcha lattes, so many different options. And it can be a little bit overwhelming. So if you're in line, there's a couple things I recommend. Maybe you know right away what you want, which is awesome. But if you think, oh my gosh, I have no idea and I'm not ready, one very polite thing that you can do if you have people behind you is simply say to the person behind you, sorry, I'm not ready yet, you go ahead of me. Or sorry, I haven't decided yet, you go ahead. All you're doing is letting the people behind you know you still haven't made a choice, which is kind of normal, and they can simply go in front of you and get their order taken. We do this all the time at any restaurant or coffee shop where we just don't know what we want yet. And you can use that same language if you walk into a coffee shop and no one else is there. The barista is just waiting for you to order. Again, you can simply say, oh, I'm not ready yet, sorry. Or I need an extra moment to decide. Feel free to help someone else if they come in behind me. Once you've had some time to review all those coffee options and it's your turn to order, you will probably hear something like, hey, what can I get for you today? Or what can I make for you? What would you like today? There might even be a little bit of small talk at the beginning, for example, hey, how's it going? Or hey, how's your day starting? What can I get for you? The polite thing for you to do is number one, respond with a greeting. So if they say hi or hello, how's it going? You can say the same. You would simply start your order by saying, hey, how's it going? Or how's your day going? And then you can continue with your order. And here are some common phrases that we use in English to order. I'd like, for example, I'd like a coffee, please. Or could I have, could I have a latte, please? Can I get, can I get a coffee? If you've had a hard time deciding, you might say, mm, 
I think I'll get a mocha latte, please. When you make that order, you can be as specific as you want. In coffee shops in the United States, we have different kinds of milk with different levels of fat. We have soy milk and almond milk if you don't want dairy. And there are different flavors that people get in coffees as well. Perhaps you want vanilla flavored or hazelnut flavored coffee. And when you order, you can include all of that. For example, you might say, I'd like a soy milk latte, or I want a low fat cappuccino, please. I'd like a low fat vanilla latte, which would mean low fat milk with vanilla syrup in your latte. Once you make your order, there are a few questions you'll probably hear. The first one might be, do you want anything else with that? In other words, do you want something to eat? Maybe you'd like a muffin or a slice of coffee cake. Do you want a coffee for another person? Or do you want us to do anything special, add something to your coffee? So you might respond with, yeah, I think I'd like to add a blueberry muffin. Or yes, I'd like a piece of cake with that, please. Or no, that's it, thank you. Then the next question will probably be, is that for here or to go? Is that for here or to go? In other words, are you going to stay in the coffee shop to drink your coffee or will you take it with you and leave right away? If you're going to stay, you're probably going to end up with some sort of coffee mug or cup like this. But if you want it to go, you'll end up with a paper cup that you can carry with you. So when you hear that question, is it for here or to go? Simply let them know by saying, it's for here, please, or I'd like it to go, please. And then finally, when your order is finished, you'll probably hear, can I get your name, please? The reason they're asking this question is once you pay for your coffee, you'll move out of the line, wait for them to make your coffee, and then they'll call out your name to let you know when your order is ready. And once you receive your coffee, the best thing that you can do is simply say, thanks so much, have a great day. And that is what you can expect to hear in a coffee shop and how you should respond when you want to order a coffee in English. Now, I know that that list of coffee options is really overwhelming. So if you want to do a little research and be prepared before you go to the coffee shop, in the online lesson, I've given you a huge list of common coffee options, and I've given you a description so that you know what they are, as well as all the different extra options. For example, different kinds of milk and flavors, if you want something like that. I've also included two dialogues using the language that we talked about in the lesson today so that you can get a better feeling for what to expect. Once you've reviewed all that language in the online lesson and those two sample dialogues, I have a couple of challenge questions for you. Number one, I'm super curious, what is your drink of choice? Do you have a favorite coffee drink or maybe you prefer tea? Whatever it is, I'd love to know. So tell me in the comments at the end of the lesson what your drink of choice is. My second question is, I'd love to know what differences you've noticed when going to a coffee shop in an English speaking country and visiting a cafe or coffee shop where you're from. Share with me the differences that you've noticed or your experience in the comment section at the bottom of the lesson. It's the best place to share with me, get feedback and learn from others in the confident English community. Now, before I finish today's lesson, because I asked you to share your drink of choice with me, I thought I would tell you mine. If you've been following me for a while, then you know I definitely have a coffee habit. I love my coffee in the morning. I can't function without my first cup of coffee. In fact, I often joke to my husband that my favorite moment of every day is that first sip of coffee in the morning. Now for me, I do go with the typical American coffee. I have my huge mug and I fill it about to here with hot milk every morning and then I like a really strong coffee. Not that typical watered down American stuff. I like a really strong dark coffee. And when I have that in the morning, I know everything is going to be okay. So now go to the online lesson, review the language that we've talked about and share with me in the comments at the bottom of the lesson. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next Wednesday for your confident English lesson. Thank you.